It's regarded as ballet's first romantic comedy, Coppelia, comes to life on stage this weekend. Uh, yep, the Fort Wayne Philharmonic and the Fort Wayne Ballet are teaming up for their performances. Here this morning to share more on the captivating comics are Christina Brinker and Carrie Coughlin. Good to have you Good two morning. this morning. Thanks for having us. <laughs> so we were just talking about what all goes into this. Of course, Carrie, you dance. We'll get to that. But first, Christina, what's this all about? Uh, it's a great, fun, romantic comedy. This one has a lot of humor in it. It's great for families. Um, so the story is Dr. Coppelius is an inventor in this village who creates mechanical dolls. His latest invention is Coppelia, who he puts on the balcony of his house, and all the villagers think she's a real girl, and they keep trying to get her attention. Okay. So Franz, the male lead, falls in love with her, much to the dismay of Swanhilda, who is his true love. So she breaks in to try and figure out who she is, and they find a workshop full of all these mechanical dolls. Um, and then they find out that Dr. Coppelius is actually trying to steal Franz's soul to put into the doll. Oh, so she wow. dresses up at the doll and distracts him long enough, um, and, you know, comedy ensues. I was going to say, but it's funny, <laughs> right? Yes, there is a happy ending, so <laughs> happy wedding, but lots of humor. You know, he's getting kicked in the face, he's getting stomped in the foot, he's falling over his spell book. So it's a lot of fun. It's great for families. And yeah. And it's different for, you know, I'm sure what you're used to doing too, Carrie. Talk about how you prepare for this and your role. Uh, well, uh, usually for a full-length ballet, we have um, a couple weeks to maybe even a couple months to prepare. Um, this one we started working on in about mid-February. Oh, wow. So we, okay. it's been a little bit shorter than like what Nutcracker would usually be, but I think we've done all right with <laughs> the time we've had. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> so for people who have never gone and, and seen a ballet performance before, what would you say to them? Why should they come out and see Coppelia? Oh, it's a great escape. It's, it's a lot of fun. There's some pre-performance activities going on, so they can come a little bit early. Steven's Puppets is back, so they're doing a marionette puppet show in the lobby. Mm -hmm. uh, Fernando Tarango is back to do some live music. Uh, we have an academy table where they can learn about the different pantomime, like the different um, speaking parts from the ballet dancers. And then it's just, you know, it's a, sh a short performance, about an hour and a half uh, performance, and then it's just, it's fun. It's it's a great escape to come in, come in from the cold and yeah. have some fun. And we had mentioned earlier, I think it's important to note, too, that you guys are working with the Fort Wayne Philharmonic. What's that been like? That's been great. This is our spring annual collaboration. We usually do a story ballet around this time, um, but it's, it's great having the live music with them, and the Dalib is the composer for this particular performance, and, and the musicians really love it, and they're enjoying Yeah. So with the ballet, people will think, you know, do I need to dress up? Is this a fancy one? Or oh, how just, can just come as you are. Yeah. Just come have fun. Yep. <laughs> That's a good part. And you know I want to get the dogs in there. Yes. Because yeah. we, we've we talked before about the Muttcrackers, the dogs that are up uh, and, and <laughs> available for adoption during Nutcracker. But you have a new one for this one, right? Yes. We have, or we're partnering again with Animal Care Control to try and find some of these lovable pups some homes by Easter. And the latest one we had last night was Hercules, a little Jack Russell Terrier. <laughs> and he was so sweet and very energetic. So. Yeah. So they can, another reason to go is you can come check out and meet Hercules meet if you're Hercules. looking for a dog. Yeah. Oh, and sweet. last thing we want to get into, what's the, can you give us a preview of what's next after Coppelia, after the curtain closes? Um, oh. The next one we have coming up is our family show, Rapunzel, on oh. April 21st. And then we have the next chamber group, which features um, the company dancers and their own cho choreography for progressions, May 18th and 19th. Okay. Well, I heard opening night, or preview night went well, and then heading for into Coppelia. opening night. Yep. So good luck with the rest Great. of the weekend. Thank you. And to both of you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for so coming much. on. Yeah, don't break a leg. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe don't break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Try not to. The Fort Wayne Ballet will present Coppelia today at 2.30 and 7.30, and then again tomorrow at 2.30. The tickets uh, are available at fwfield.org. You can secure your spot at the show. We've got more on our website, wayne.com. We'll be right back.